Welcome to the Sips and Strokes YouTube channel. My name is Sarah. I am going to be walking you through how to paint the Pop Art Princess today. Um, this is a really fun painting where you can customize the background colors, the skin tone, all of that jazz. So you're going to be able to make it your own today. Um, so we are going to go step by step. At any time, if you need to pause the video to catch up to where I am, feel free to do so. Um, but you should have everything you need as far as paint and brushes go. Um, and we will go ahead and just jump on into it. So the first thing we are going to do is we are going to paint the background, everything behind our lady. Um, use the sheet on the back of your instructions for some different color combinations if you don't want to do pink with me. Um, but I am going to stick with pink. So in order to make pink, we are going to take out our big brush. Big brush, dry that off on your paint rag or paper towel, um, just anything that's old and that you don't care about ruining. And I'm going to mix with my big brush. I'm going to take two big scoops of white, add that to my paper plate over here, and a big scoop of red to make pink. I'm going to fold that on top of itself. I'm okay to still have swirls of red or swirls of white in my mixture. And we are going to go ahead and start painting everything behind her hair. I'm not real concerned about maintaining that sketch line just because I know that later on I'm going to um, carve out those lines again. So don't worry about it if you cover up that sketch line or if you're a little bit messy. You just want to get as close as you can to that line. You don't want to leave any blank space between um, her hair and her background. So get as close as you can. Another thing you want to do is you want to blend into your background, meaning I'm going to add some a little bit of white, I'm going to add some red. Those are the two colors that I used to make my pink. So those are the two colors that are safest to blend into my background. So what I'll do, take my brush, maybe I'll dip a little bit into red first. And then while this is still wet, I'm just going to sweep this in, kind of funky like this. You can also do the same thing with a little bit of white, just dip into your white, just kind of sweep it in, just so that it's a little bit more interesting to look at, it's not just a flat shade of pink, it's got some variations in it, we can just get all the way up there, get all the way down to her shoulder line, make sure I come around here, dip my brush into some red, I'm going to blend some red in there. Make sure I get all the way up next to that line. And what you are going to do is just make sure that you paint your edges. So the very, very sides of your canvas, wherever this pink comes to the edge, you're going to paint around the sides. So make sure you get all the way around. So when you hang it up at home, it looks nice and finished. Paint my sides like so. So, okay, right, and we will move on to our next step. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to put down a primer for our skin tone. This first coat is going to be very streaky, very patchy, um, not at all probably the color that you want um, for her skin to be in the end. Just think of it as a primer. Um, it's it's going to help um, later on for her skin to look nice and smooth and flawless, but you'll be able to customize her skin tone later. Um, so for now, we're just going to mix up our primer color. So I'm gonna take out my biggest brush, use that as my mixing tool, and I'm going to take a big scoop of white, a big scoop of honey mustard, it's golden yellow color, and a big scoop of brown and fold that on top of itself mix that together nice and thoroughly and with this you want to do kind of a nice thin coat at first I always start with the neck add a little bit more brown I usually I usually start with the neck just because I like the face to be painted last it kind of helps with my brush strokes you want to do a nice thin coat of this color first and try to resist trying to correct the streakiness right now. Just do long, soft brush strokes the best you can. It's okay if a little bit of that pink gets blended in there. Okay. 
And when you get to the face, if you want to switch to a thinner brush, you totally can. Getting all the way around. Paint around those facial features. If you accidentally cover a nostril or something, don't worry about it. You'll still be able to see your sketch line underneath your paint as long as you're doing a thinner coat of paint. I'll make her chin a little bit thinner too when I do her hair. So I am going to switch to a smaller brush just to give myself a little bit more control. I just went ahead and just covered up those nostrils because I can still see them. Not a very smooth coat of paint. Just don't worry about that for right now. We're going to go back once this is dry and we'll do a second coat of, um, of this and we'll customize our skin tone. So I'm making sure I get my edges. Right. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to let our canvas dry completely before I move on to the next step. So in the meantime, rinse your brushes, get some fresh water, um, have a snack, and we will get started back in about 10 minutes. Go ahead and pause the video, and we will get started back together. Okay, so now that we're back, we are going to paint our second coat of skin tone on here. This is where you guys are going to customize your skin tones. So take a look at the back page of your instructions. See what the color combinations are. I'm going to use my big brush to mix my color together. So I'm going to go for kind of like a mid-tone here. Um, and I'm going to take a big scoop of white. And I'm probably going to do about two scoops of brown. Two scoops of brown and then maybe a scoop of honey mustard. Mix that all together. And you are going to go ahead and do a second coat of skin. And like I said earlier, I like to start with the neck and I'll do the face last. This is gonna help smooth out any of those streakiness, streakiness that you may have. So just do long, smooth brush strokes. And then when you get to the face, you want to switch to a medium brush or your smaller brushes. So you have a little bit more control around the face area. I'm switching my brush. You want to do like a nice dusting, like a thin coat of this. If it's still streaky for you, um, let it dry and do a third coat on top of it. Then you'll really get it nice and smooth. But two coats usually does the trick. So again, I'm just going around my eyelashes, around the eyebrow. We'll clean those up later on, so don't worry if you accidentally lose an eyebrow or or an eyelash or a nostril, which I've completely lost my nostrils, but I can still see them a little bit underneath my paint. So I know I'm still okay. You guys see how that made that a lot smoother, softer. And you can always again go back and do a third coat if you want to, but that is probably what all I'm going to do here. So now that I have that done, I'm going to go through and paint her hair um, with a solid coat of black. And I'm going to use my biggest brush, black paint. I'm just going to fill in her hair, just carving back out those little curves. Okay. 
So I usually will just push my brush down flat and I'll just kind of give it a wiggle when I'm going around the edges here to get my curves. And then when you get to the areas around the face, if you need to, switch to a smaller brush just to get real precise. So I'm going to wait for a minute and then just fill in the rest of this before I do the areas that are closest to the face. Then I'm just going back and I'm smoothing out any larger chunks of paint that might be there just so that it all dries evenly. And with black paint being such a high con contrast with um, my white canvas, when it dries, paint shrinks. So you may start to see the pores of the canvas poke through. If that happens, just touch it up as you see them. But as long as you're using enough paint, that shouldn't happen. Um, so just make sure you're using um, a nice thicker coat of paint. Can. Going around her face here. Oops. This is one thing you guys want to be careful of is when whenever you are using black paint, um, it can easily get out of hand where you where you just scoop off big chunks of black, trying to fill in a large amount, um, large section of black. Um, just be careful of that. What I'm going to do is I'll probably just let that dry and then I'll come back and layer, um, layer paint over it. So that's no big deal if that happens to you. Just be super careful. I'm making sure I get all in these looks with little nooks and crannies. As far as the facial features go, I'm going to use a smaller brush so I'm not worried about that right now. So I filled all of that in. I'm going to let that dry for a little bit before I go back and fix that and I'll show you guys how. But while that's drying, I'm going to take my small brush and my black paint and I'm going to um, fill in the facial features. So I'm going to start with the nostrils, fill those in with black. My, my smallest brush, and then I'm going to fill in the nose line, and it goes all the way up to the eyebrow. Take your time, breathe slowly when you're doing these. It will help you to let everything else dry completely before you do those facial features. So if you need to, pause the video before you move on to this. And do her other lash. Okay, so we're letting that dry before we move on to the next step. But go ahead and rinse your brushes and get some fresh water when you are all the way up to this step. Um, and let everything dry before you move on to like the lips. 
um, and we will keep going from there. So my canvas for the most part is pretty much all the way dry. I did want to show you guys how I fix things like this. So what I do is I just take maybe my medium brush and the skin tone I used from earlier, I still have some mixed up here. And right here on the shoulder where I got on her shoulder, I'm just going to carve it out. Um, just like foundation, um, paint also oxidizes. So it may look like this is a little bit lighter or too light, but since it's the same mixture that I used earlier, what it will happen is it will dry down a little bit darker. So I'm not worried about that. And then here where it's pink, I'm just gonna take pink, carve that right back out. Since that little area is a little darker, I'm gonna pick up a little bit of red and just cover that up. Okay, so easy fixes. There's nothing you can do to this canvas that can't be fixed later on. Sometimes with black paint, when it's black paint in particular, um, it doesn't always cover as easy. So what I may have to do if that doesn't cover, because like I said, paint dries, it shrinks, and some of that black might start peeking through when it's dry. I'll just keep watching it and see if I need to fix it at any place. Um, but in the meantime, I'm gonna, I, <laughs> I am going to go ahead and paint my lips. So you can paint your lips any color that you want on her. Her lips are red um, in the original. So I'm going to take red paint. And you can use your smaller brush if you need to. I just have my medium one. And I fill in her lips. With red paint, since it is so thin, I'm going to do a second coat here, here in a minute when it's dry just to make them look nice and solid. So I'm gonna let that dry here before I do any outlining on it. I'm gonna do something else and then when I'm done with the other thing, I'll come back and do a second coat of red. So I'm gonna let that dry. So while my lips are drying, I'm gonna go ahead and draw on some earrings. Um, with her earrings, they are a pretty gold color. So to make my gold, I have my small round brush. I'm going to take a scoop of white and two scoops of the honey mustard color. Scoop of white and a scoop of honey mustard. And you just want to draw um, circles that just don't finish at the end. Um, so I'll start here on the earlobe. And I'm going to draw some hoops. Like that. You see they don't close at the end, it's kind of like it disappears into her hair. And then I'm also going to draw um, a hoop on the other side of her face. And it just doesn't disappear, it just disappears into her hair. So super easy. You can always do it a different color if you want to. Like if you want to do silver, I would just mix white and gray or white and black together. So while that's drying, I'm gonna keep letting that dry. And we will come back once it's dry and do a second coat of red on top of that. Now that the lips have had some time to dry, I'm going to go ahead and do a second coat of red on our lips. Um, again, I have my medium brush. If you guys want to use a smaller brush, you totally can. Um, but my medium brush is red paint. I'm just doing a solid coat of red right on top. This just makes it look a little bit more um, solid. Blend that in. You can totally do her lips pink, or if you wanted to do, I've seen some purple lips, I've seen green lips, I've seen all different colors. Once you have that all filled in, you're just going to do a little bit of outlining. Um, and I have my smallest brush and black paint, small brush and black paint, and I'm just going to outline um, her neck and her shoulders. So I'm going to outline that. and her shoulder over here like that all right and so once you have all of that done you are finished with your painting um, thank you guys so much for watching and painting with us today um, if you've purchased a kit check back and see um, what all we have new for the following week um, 
If you like this video, go ahead and like it. Subscribe if you haven't already. Um, we love to see these on our social media, which um, we will have linked below. Um, we miss people in the studio, so um, this kind of gives us that connection back again, being able to see what you guys are doing. Um, but feel free to tag us and all of that. Um, thank you guys again for so much for watching, and we will see you in the next video. Bye. So we're also going to outline our lips. Um, so I'm going to take my small brush again, and I'm just going to outline the middle. Just give her kind of a pout. And I'm going to outline really lightly the outsides of her lips. I kind of hold it like a pencil. Gives me a little bit more control. Like that. Okay, and that is it you guys. So um, thank you guys for watching and thank you guys for painting with us today. Um, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. Um, feel free to tag us on Facebook or Instagram. Um, we'll have those linked in the description box below. Um, but I hope you guys enjoyed it and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!